Well, you probably know from the name of this video where we are. We are at Bespoke 2022. This year we didn't have to drive for six hours to get to the location because it's in London and it's just 30 minutes from where I live. So it's perfect. And without further ado, let's go inside. That's my cameraman, Dennis. Hello, guys. That's his son, David. And that's Bespoke. Look at the location. I'll try to do something different this year rather than interviewing all uh, exhibitors. We'll try to find the most expensive bike. And also, let's try and find the coolest paint job. But that might be a very difficult task and I might need your help with this because judging from the last year, there would be so many cool bikes and paint jobs that it would be extremely difficult to choose just one, but let's see. Daniel, what's that, uh, sorry, is it a d Kind of. <laughs> uh, no, it's a, this is the award that they, they give us. Uh, for, yeah, it's a, basically... So it's a dual purpose. Our car bike, it's, a, it's made for people who don't have really too much space in their houses and you can store it very easy in your in your hallway so the main feature is you have a knob in the front of the bike and you untie it you push the, and you take it out it's oh like, nice but you still have a long base compared with a normal bike it's like a uh, um, an average of 30 centimeter long ah really yeah. not that not that much it's two meters ah, because you have a small yeah, wheel, small wheel yeah Yes, because you have it. Nice one. I like your logo as well. Thank you. We're also trying to find uh, the most expensive bike. This is a good... Uh, yeah, it's just getting up there. Um, yeah, yeah this is... 11, 11 Southern. <laughs> yeah. 109999 <laughs> yeah, to make you feel a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's not 11 Grand, yeah, because it's... Um, it's like SRAM red, and then it's uh, wheel classified, part yeah. Wheel partner, and then it's classified, which is their own money. Yeah. And then this, this is the finish is anodized, and that that costs. I know. So the bike is. That they don't. You don't have to explain why it's is, so expensive. I mean, it's like all 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 bikes are expensive no, nowadays, no. especially if it's something unusual and custom no. and titanium. Then no, you are the first one who has actually the price tag on your bike, no, really? which is which is good. I found the coolest bike of the show. Something I need to buy for my son. Yeah, no, it's my daughter's bike, basically. Uh, you should use in all the bags uh, so and come in with you she, for bike picking. She hasn't seen it yet. Ah, okay. So I built it for her two years ago and didn't paint it and let it just rust. So she had like the baddest bike at nursery. Yeah. <laughs> but it was getting pitted, so I needed to paint it. And, uh, and now, yeah, she, now she, she's too big for this bike. Uh, she's, she's, she's kind of, yeah, a little bit. She still rides it and enjoys it as much as she does a bigger bike now. But yeah, we got a little camping trip planned. When I present him, when I present him, after the show. After the show, yeah. yeah, after the show. yeah. First the show, it's more important than your daughter. Uh, well, no, I'll it, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, and we're actually going to have the bags to sell as well, so if people are interested. We were trying to find the lightest bike of the show and the most expensive one. Okay. I think we found the lightest. We found the lightest, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found the biggest bike of the show. This is a 36 inch Kun Cycles. Now let's talk to the owner. But your bike is very difficult to miss. Yes, yeah, because it's the biggest, biggest bike of the show. You don't realize how big it is until you're next to it. This is Ben and he is not a small guy. <laughs> I'm six foot nine. So, and this is my bike, which really fits to me. So, how does it ride? Pretty good. I just did the first 100, 200 meters. Uh, because and these were the best 100 meters in your life? Ever. Exactly. <laughs> ever. Is it a steel bike? It's a steel frame, yes. So we uh, try to integrate some stainless steel printed parts. 
So we printed some of the or the dropouts and the locks, and the rest is standard steel tubes. Yeah. From Reynolds, yeah. I'll probably need a chair to get on the bike if, if I want to ride it. It's like carry I mean, a small chair with me. It's made for me and it works pretty well. <laughs> but we have a dropper post, so. <laughs> okay, that helps. That, that helps. helps. And you've got a special fork for it. For it. It's yes. a 36 inch rather than 29er. Yeah, right. uh, Cornelius from Intent built us a custom fork, 36 inch suspension fork, 80 millimeter travel. And, and do you know the weight of this bike? Yes, it's 17.9 kilogram. It looks much heavier than it, it is, looks much especially heavier. if yeah. it's a steel bike. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Any comments since you have a microphone? What's your favorite bike of the show? Did you just show the, the random one? Yes. It's a sturdy bike. Congrats with the best finish award. Yeah, I mean, I, it's really good. I wanted to ask you where is the long part of the... <laughs> the <b> plug. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's hidden under there because it kept falling over and falling out. And okay. no, no one realized it wasn't a, an award. So <laughs> I thought I'd put it there so people could see it. Yeah. How much did, you, did this paint cost? How much did it cost? Wow, well, oh, that'd be telling. But yeah, it is... Uh, uh, a smidge over two grand, so yeah, <laughs> which of course, yeah, but it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's all hand painted, so uh, Lucia, who's the painter, so her brand is called Velofeek, she's painted for Windy Miller and then she set out on her own and mm. she does these beautiful, but as you can see, hand painted finishes where it's all these different uh, layered effects of like mm. you know giving you the effect of like brush strokes and all this. Yeah. But you look really close, you see like she's actually painted uh, landscapes. So these are like trees. Ah. Uh, you see little trees. There's like a waterfall and a rock garden here and stuff. Because yeah, we were following this Japanese theme. Um, it was based on kintsugi, which is the Japanese art of when you break pottery, you mend yeah. it with gold leaf, so you beautify. So you make and more beautiful. Yeah. Can you lean this bike against the wall on the right? <laughs> Which wall? <laughs> yeah. Stone. Um, I mean, the guy who got it, he was very much like literally going like, into the back of his car. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh on the my wall. God. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, mate, he's like, a bike's for riding. I'm like, yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> What happened? You told me you'll bring only two bikes and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. It's something I say it every year. I'm like, next year I'm gonna make it stress-free. Two bikes, just two of my best bikes and that'll be it. And yeah. then um, and then every year, I, I, said, I said the same thing to you last year, every single year I come back with a stamp full even, of bikes. Even more, even yeah. more. This is your wife's bike, right? It I is, saw yeah. it on yeah. Instagram. And where, where is your bike? Uh, mine's the purple one. The purple one? Yeah. So, so tell me, look, the purple one is on Durace, mm -hmm. your wife's bike in, on Shimano 105. Yeah. Uh, that tells something about how... Why? Yeah. Because I have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you uh, love your wife, right? <laughs> Basically, it's a, it's a big, big upgrade to what she's got already. So uh, okay. she currently rides like a... That's uh, how you justify. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, she, she, she'll, she'll love it. I was really lucky to get that group set. It came actually yeah. in a box set. Um, in, yeah. in like a real fancy Shimano 105 box. Ah, yeah, yeah, I saw those boxes. Yeah. People sell those boxes on eBay after that. Oh, really? Yeah, you can get some money back. There you go. Save on yeah. your wife even yeah. more. Yeah, you can save even more money. <laughs> you can use it like a mirror. We are also looking for the most expensive uh, bike of the show. Yeah. What's the most expensive one on your stand? Uh, prob it's probably, probably this one. one. Yeah. Um, you, you've got four four thousand pounds wheels on it. Yeah, so. I mean <laughs> the wheels and forks are like six grand. Six grand already. Yeah. So what's the total for this bike? I don't know. Maybe like probably maybe fourteen grand. Fourteen? Yeah. You're maybe maybe so more far. with the paint job actually. <laughs> yeah, the paint job's like fifteen hundred quid at least. So, nice one. 
yeah, it's, uh, they're not cheap, but there's a lot of work and a lot of time goes into these things. And um, I think like when you when you see the bikes, you can tell that, that what's been put into them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember you too. Yeah. You were the favorite part of the whole video because everyone said these guys know their stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I went and watched the video lots of times. Oh, like, really? Yeah. <laughs> and then you showed it at my school. You showed it in, in your school? Yeah. Uh, my video. School. I'm popular, guys. You see what I'm an influencer. Yeah, my videos cool. are shown in school. <laughs> yeah. It was like they got the picture up in school because they wanted to see me on it and me and my brother were on it because we both went to the same primary school. So and you took a screenshot of the video? They, they, no, they had they the video up. Video. The yeah. whole video? Yeah. I think now I know where my subscribers are coming from, from your school. <laughs> yeah. Thanks guys. I'm glad your dad is not in the pub this time. Yeah, he's here this time. Yeah, he's actually doing some work, not, yeah. not asking you to like look <laughs> yeah. after his dad. But Hi Ted, <laughs> how are you doing? Good, yeah. It's a titanium bike, we've got an anodized splatter on it, so you put the wax on it and splatter it. Yeah, anodized. Yeah, I remember you like splatter. Yeah. From the, from the... I'm in our living room whilst we are in Henry. <laughs> in your living room, some yeah. secrets from the production of uh, TJ. Yeah, night before the show, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got it here and we've also got... I'm sure your mum was happy with the... No, she wasn't there. She was uh, on a shoot, so... Ah, okay. So, so she didn't see it. Otherwise, I hope mom she doesn't. Exactly. I hope she doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> We've got also a titanium road bike here with anodized on it. Might not, might not have been the same uh, way as this one, but got on the down tube and the um, bottom one, the seat tube as well. All right. Good to see you guys. Thanks for the presentation. As always, hope to see you next year too. Hi Tom. Hello. Congrats with the. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, know what that is. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, well, it's best in show award. We'll leave it at that. I don't best know in show don't thing. Thing, yeah. Thing. Thing. Um, Suspect looking trophy. First question. Yeah. Uh, which one of these is my bike? Uh, yours isn't ready yet. I'm very sorry. When, when will it be? Uh, a few weeks. We're getting there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. a few yeah. weeks. Yeah. Few, Not long. Few. How many of you? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. You don't need to answer. Yeah, good. That's fine. <laughs> uh, tell us uh, what's new this year. Uh, so we've got a couple of new models. I've updated the, the hardtail mountain bike a little bit. So that's a, not a new model for me. I've been doing that, but I've just applied wow. a few little updates to. Uh, then we've got the new time trial model. That's um, that's a completely new thing that no one's seen before. And then uh, the Aero Road model is also a new and one. And I see you managed to make uh, a novel titanium uh, Sipos. Yes. That, that thing was missing. Yeah, so these, uh, these two have been developed um, in parallel, really, um, over the last two and a half, three years. Um, so yeah, these are the two kind of new ones. So it's uh, quite tired, but excited to get them over the line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we are trying to find the most expensive bike of the show. How much uh, is this one? Uh, well, that's probably not the most expensive bike in the show. I've, I've been uh, I've been a bit careful on some of the bits, so it's got like a SRAM rival rear mech on it. So I could have okay. put a red on it, couldn't I? That would have made it more expensive. Um, Still, I reckon. Uh, so something like I mean, something like that. Uh, the, the the full kind of retail price is going to be something like fourteen thousand. Something like that. Say, say a bit pounds. more and it will be more expensive. Well, I, I mean, if someone wants to spend more money, there are lots more expensive wheels uh, that they could have. And, and red group set. And red group set. So, you know, it could easily be 16, 17. Okay. Yeah. That's Is that that's enough? A, that's enough? That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Previous one was 14, so. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> cool. I can see you brought your, the, my understanding, this is your first bike made under Spoon Customs yeah, uh, this, this is, uh, brand. 
Yeah, Spirit HSS, Duke Set, um, Braised, um, Sam Dunn, an illustrator, painted it. It was all painted. How many hand. hours till? Um, 38 the... hours. She's really fast because it's her style, but 38 hours every day for a whole week. Wow, yeah, that, that is crazy. And the amount of details on, on this bike yeah. is unbelievable. And some people, like my friends, were saying, ah, that, that must be a sticker and then a locket on top. Yeah, I, a lot no. of people, yeah, we had a couple of people, um, one of the guys runs a paint shop for one of the other companies, and he said uh, he was quite surprised it wasn't masks and stickers and yeah. the weeding, but it's all hand painted. So it's acrylic paint. I think she put it on with a cocktail stick and a paintbrush. And wow. here we've got these little marks on the head tube are all created by painting the whole thing black and then chipping the black off. So yeah, there's a lot of work in there. There's loads of little details that come from either things she loves or I love. And during the course of the week that she painted it, we were just exchanging ideas exchanging, back yeah. and forth. There wasn't a design. I like the spoon as well. Yeah, there's the spoon. This little uh, this little emblem is for a Rancid album that we both like. And then there's loads of little quotes on there and bits and pieces. There's my brother on the back. He lives in New nice. Zealand, so we've got a kiwi leaf on there. Timber is the dog that was under the bench when we were making it. There's loads of little details. It's really, cool. it's, a really it's a dangerous bike project. to ride because when you ride, you want to look and read uh, and see yeah, the, yeah. The, the pictures. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah it's kind of cool. There's a lot of little details. Uh, where does the name Spoon comes from? Oh, funnily enough, that was it's a little odd. That was my nickname at school. Oh, okay. And my last name is Car, so. I was wondering whether you, uh, you are Andy Spoon. No, no. Like Tom, Tom Sturdy. No, Andy, uh, I'm Andy, Andy <laughs> Carr, but you can't call a, a bike a car, right? So we, uh, we went with Spoon, so Spoon Customs. Yeah. Nice one. Who doesn't like freebies? Do a bit of promotion for Andy. What do you think? It's beautiful. Very nice. She's not ridden it yet either. Do you like me. it more than your your bike? Equal. <laughs> Equal. Okay, that's a good answer. Very diplomatic. <laughs> We also found the most uh, rusty bike of the show. If you don't a want to. Fancy Mike. <laughs> I know, is it? Bjorn? Bio, Do you know this brand? Yeah, there's a distributor in Australia. Though. In Australia, really? Yeah. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to see Bastion on the show. Uh, you were not on the list. Um, good surprise to yeah. see you live. Um, we haven't been here since 2016, I believe. So, Lee from Velo Atelier uh, said he wanted to showcase a Bastion here. So instead of just sending one across and letting him be here, we decided to bring another bike uh, with us. And then I came across uh, yeah. from Bastion uh, to be here. The UK market or the European market hasn't seen our handlebar cockpit and fork system yet. Yeah. We launched that last year. And this year we launched our prototype crank set at the Handmade Bike Show in Melbourne in May. We were trying to find the most expensive bike of the show. What's the price tag for this one? Well... It's on cheap wheels though, so if you... Yeah, so... How expensive it can get? If you came to see the one that got picked up two months ago from the factory, you would have seen the most expensive bike that we've ever done. And what was uh, the price? That price was $35,000 Aussie dollars. Uh, so it's like 20,000 20, pounds or something, or more, yeah, even more? Probably a little bit more. Even more. Uh, this one here, we're probably looking at about twenty-five to 27,000 uh, with the crank set. This bike here, we did a collaboration with Matt uh, Apparel. Which one? This one? This one here. Yeah. And a lot of people here don't know that Map is actually from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, Australian, yeah. We know Map. <laughs> yeah, look at Dennis. 
I won't say on the mic, but maybe I will, but I'm stopped <laughs> by the penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't put that in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll cut it. We'll cut that. No, I'm joking. We will not cut. We don't cut anything. I don't know about the lightest or most expensive bike, but I found the dirtiest bike of the show. That's how gravel bike should look like, right? And this is the bike of Sam, William Andrews. He is our guy here in UK. Does it come with the with the mud on it when I if you purchase no, the bike? No. No? Okay. No. That's a pity. Uh, if you want, we can... Uh... Is it a extra? extra? <laughs> yes. I have to pay extra for that. You have to pay that. extra for the, <laughs> the special painting at the end. <laughs> so the, the real triangle is really, really very, uh, very short. short. Nice. So the well, what's the length of the chain stays? I think 42. Oh, that's uh, good. It's uh, just one centimeter more than a road, road. bike. Yeah, Perfect. at the end. And so nice. you can have uh, really a lot of comfort here mm -hmm. because this to tube can absorb yeah, vibration, nice. but the bike is really very reactive because of the, the, the real triangle. What about these wires? Like, what, what's that? Uh, this is a, a stress test. Yeah. Uh, so there are like uh, uh, 35 sensors. So we know uh, what's happening inside the frame. So we put the rider on it, uh, he starts pedaling, and uh, we can measure the power going through all the tubes. If the results aren't good for, and enough for, for us, we can al always switch the tubing, uh, change the type of layering, the, yeah. uh, all the carbon layers, and that's it. We just want to know what's going inside these nice paint jobs. You know? How many other brands are doing the same? Is it your, your own technology? You invented it? Or no, no you, we, are, we are cooperating with the universities and yeah. uh, with the professionals. So uh, this is the project of one student from the Technical uni University in Prague. So we started nice. to research, you know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're trying to find the most expensive bike of the show. Yeah. Tell us, like, um, what's the most expensive bike on your stand? It will be this one. It's uh, Because of the paint? Because of the paint, because it's collaboration with, uh, with the artists uh, from Prague. And uh, the retail price would be like the 35k. In uh, pounds. pounds? Yeah. We found it. We found the most expensive bike of the show. <laughs> this one. So that's all for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave your comment down below with the bike you like the most. I personally couldn't choose one. There were so many great bikes, so many great paint jobs. Uh, and as always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Twisted Wheels YouTube channel.